hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Usetale. if you are interested in seeing how i recreated this beautiful top to make the yellow one that you see me wearing in the video keep on watching this video and let's go straight to the tutorial welcome back guys for this tutorial we are going to start by drafting the pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be ruling a line here which is going to serve as my starting line okay so after doing that i'm going to just go ahead to take the body measurement you know is uh, a top with strap so i'm going to be minusing five inches from my shoulder to the bust point measurement as you can see you just place your tape minus five inches on that our starting line then you mark to the bust point okay then you take it to the under bust measurement you mark it and you take the length of the top i'm going to be making use of length of like 17 inches here so i'm just going to mark 17 inches i will add extra half inch for the folding allowance okay so i'm just going to go ahead to do the same thing here and i will connect the dots So guys after doing this you are going to go ahead to label it the chest line the bust point the under bust and the waistline okay so after doing that right now i'm going to come to the bust point okay the bust point you're going to take your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so this is what i have i'll be adding extra half inch for the joining allowance i'll come to the waistline and do the same thing then half inch for the draining allowance there you connect the dots so guys after doing that i'm going to measure what i have here i'll be adding extra one inch to what i have there and i will take it on the chest line you see then you are going to connect it to meet it like that okay then after you are done doing this you are going to come to the under boss guys you come to the under boss then you go out by one inch then you come to the waistline and go out by 1.25 then you come inwards here half inch then you go to the waistline and take half inch then you're going to connect it so after doing that guys i'm going to be making use of a curve ruler unfortunately my curve ruler is broken and i've not been able to go to the market to get a new one so i'm just going to be using it like that so on that bust point i came down by one inch okay so it's one inch that you see there so i'm just going to connect from the other bust to meet that one inch that i came down by okay then after doing that we use your straight ruler to connect from the other side to meet the point as well so this is what you're going to have now you come to the chest line and you measure one inch then you go out by 0 0.75 inch okay then after you're done doing that you are going to connect it to meet the bust point just like this then after you are done doing this guys i'm just going to be using the covula to blend the sharp edge that you can see here because we don't need any sharp edge okay then this is what you're going to have after doing that right now i'm going to go ahead to take the round body measurement so on this chest line i will take the bust measurement divided by four okay then i will measure the dart that i'm going to be cutting off i'll add it then i'll add extra one inch which is going to be for the sewing allowance then i will come to the waistline sorry the waistline okay then you take the waist measurement divided by four you measure this dart that you'll be cutting out you add it and you add extra one and a half inch to the waistline sewing allowance okay then you are going to connect the dots just like that guys now that we are done doing this i'm going to uh, come to these parts you know it's, it's not supposed to have arm hole but i'm just going to be making a slant on it like that so that it will not just be too sharp so you do that on that part and after you are done doing that you just go ahead to cut it out guys this was what i had after i was done cutting okay you can see how it came out all right so i'm just going to place this aside now then we go ahead to drop the back piece then for the back i'm also going to be ruling a line to serve as my starting line just the same way we did for the front then i will also rule out the zipper allowance okay on this other side 
after doing that i'm going to place the front pieces on the back pattern like this i will just align it in a way that it will actually stay like this did you see how it's looking guys then i'm going to mark this part i'm just going to mark it like this okay then i will remove them and use my ruler to to connect the dots okay then after you are done doing this guys i'm going to come to this um zipper area i'll be going in by half inch and i'll also be reducing the zipper allowance by half inch you guys should be familiar with what i'm doing right now because we do this all the time whenever we are drafting a bust here so this is actually to eliminate any zip bulge then after you're done doing that guys i'm going to go ahead to take the dart then i'll come to the waistline here then i'll measure my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and i will measure down to get the bust point line you see you minus your five inches and you mark your bust point line then you're going to connect it then on this bust point line i'm going to take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two as well then i'm going to connect the dots okay now i'll come to the under bust here and take half inch on both sides this is to create the dart you guys you know what i'm doing right now we do this all the time now that i'm done doing this guys i'm i'm going to be reducing the back length by one inch so i'm just going to measure up one inch like this then i'll connect it using my ruler just like this you know that the back is not as as long as the front so you're going to do that then i'm just going to create a little slope on the upper side there then i'll go ahead to cut it out so guys this was what i had after i was done cutting as you can see the pattern papers are ready so right now i'm going to be using this pattern paper to cut on fabric This was what I had after I was done cutting them out guys you can see I have the actual fabric and I also have the lining pieces for all of uh, the front and the back pieces okay so this is what I have so right now I'm going to go ahead to iron um, hair stain to the actual fabric I will iron paper gum to the lining pieces guys i'm done doing that and this is what i have this is the lining pieces and this is the actual fabric so guys right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the lining pieces aside then we'll go ahead to start working on the actual fabric you can see i'm just going to put them side by side like this i'm going to put uh these parts together then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew it down so i'm just going to align it well while i'm sewing i'm going to join it together like that then i also join the other side so guys this is what i had after i was done joining the both sides i'm just going to make a notch there then i will also make a notch here so right now i'm going to go ahead to iron this out guys i already have detailed videos on how to perfectly join a bustier how to iron a bustier how to pad a bustier and all the links to these videos are in the description box please do well to go there so you get to watch those videos if you haven't seen them so this is what i had after i was done ironing it out as you can see guys i'm just going to place it together now and i will cut out this excess that you can see on the side so i'm just going to be cutting off that excess guys now that i'm done cutting it i'm just going to you know place this aside now then i'll bring the lining pieces i'm also going to take the lining pieces to the sewing machine and i will join it as well just the same way i did for the actual fabric 
so this was what i had after i was done joining the lining pieces and also cutting off the excess at the sides you can see the lining and the actual fabric are both ready so right now I'll bring my strap i already fold a strap that i'm going to be using so uh, i'm just going to place the strap on that part you can see where i joined it i'm just going to place it on it like that then i'll place the other one on it exactly like that okay so guys after pinning it down i will take the lining piece and i'll put it on the actual fabric like that then i'm going to go to the sewing machine and sew it so guys this was what i had after i was done sewing it you can see i also sewed the sides and the hem just to you know sew the lining and the actual fabric together so this is what i have right now it's time to work on the back i'm going to bring the back pieces okay i'm just going to place them on the table like this you can see then i'll place the lining pieces corresponding to each one on them just like this okay no <laughs> yes then after i'm done doing that i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it just like that this was what i had after i was done sewing both of them guys as you can see right now i'm going to go ahead to flip it to the right side so you're just going to flip it to the right side then i'll go ahead and iron it out this was what I had after I was done ironing. Right now, I'm just going to take to the sewing machine and stitch it just the way I demonstrated. Then I'm done stitching it, guys. This is what I have. Right now, I'll place it together like this, okay? Then I'm going to be marking out the zipper allowance, you know? We said one inch for the zipper allowance. So I'm just going to be mark one inch like that. Then I'll connect it. Just rule a line so that I will know where my zipper starts from, okay? Now that I'm done doing that, I'll take my dart then i'll measure my nipple measurement divided by four on both sides there then i'm going to rule a line okay then i'll come to the waistline again and take half inch on both sides just like that then i'll connect it to meet um that side this is what i'm doing guys now that i'm done doing that i'm just going to take this to the sewing machine now and i'm going to sew the dart just like that and i will do the same thing to the other piece this is what I had after I was done sewing that on both pieces, guys. I'm just going to iron this out. Guys, now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to place it together again. So, um, our zipper allowance that I marked earlier was on the other side. So, I'm just going to be marking it here as well. Then, I will rule it. Then, now, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. And I will sew a loose stitch on it loose stitch because we are going to be losing it later so this is what i had after i was sewing i was done sewing that loose stitch so right now i'm just going to iron this flat okay so this is what you are going to have okay now that i'm done doing that i'm going to bring the front piece and i'll be placing them the right sides facing each other just like the way you see me doing then i'm going to go ahead to take the round body measurement the bust measurement the under bust and the waist measurement so this is what i had after i was done taking and marking out that measurement right now we take it to the sewing machine and join it on both sides this was what I had after I was done joining the both sides together, guys. You can see I went ahead to also weave it with my overlock sewing machine. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to fix the strap. And to do that, guys, I'm going to be measuring from this point here. I'll measure up five or five and a half inches you know when we drafted it on pattern we took away five inches so i'm going to be measuring five and a half inches now then i'll come to this other side and as well measure five and a half inches so from that five and a half inches that i marked i'm just going to flip it just the way you see me did then i'm going to pin it to the back piece just like that okay then i'm going to do the same thing to the other strap So guys, now that I'm done doing this, I'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch it on both sides. 
so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching it on both sides guys i'm not just going to be cutting away much of the allowance that we have on the strap because of anything if you need to adjust it so that you'll be able to do adjustment to it now that i'm done doing that i will lose this zipper area i'm just going to lose it you know i told you guys we are going to lose it so i will lose it now then i'm going to go ahead now to hem the down part so i'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and i will hem it this was what i had after i was done hemming guys i decided to use the overlock machine to weave it before hemming so right now the final step is for me to attach the zip so i'm going to break my zipper and i will take it to the sewing machine and attach the zipper this is it guys this is what i had after i was done attaching the zipper you can see how clean and nice the zipper came out so this is it guys this is basically all for this tutorial but there was something i noticed when i wore it the first time i didn't like how it was too long it was not looking like what i saw in the picture so i decided that i wanted to make adjustments to it i wanted to cut off the length to do that i'm going to be removing my zipper yes i'm going to be removing my zipper because i'm going to be cutting out of the length so this is what i had after i was done removing my zipper guys i'm just trying to align it together now before i go ahead to cut out of it okay So now that I'm done aligning guys, I'm going to be measuring 2 inches on this area here, the back area. Then I will come to the side here and I will measure 1.5, then I will measure 1.5 at the center front as well. So I'm going to go ahead to connect these dots. So guys, if you don't want to have to do adjustment to yours, you can decide to cut out of the pattern paper when you are drafting. So instead of using 17 inches like we initially did, you can use 15 inches for yours. So you won't have to go through this process of cutting out of a dress you have already made so this is what i had after i was done cutting it out guys right now take it to the sewing machine and i will hem the down part and as well face the zip as well so this is what i had after i was done doing that after i was done making the adjustment guys this is what i had and this was when it came out so nice and i loved it so guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial let me know what you think about the tutorial in the comment section let me know if you are going to be trying it out thank you so much guys for watching see you all in our next video bye